Hey, welcome back to Lake Martin Dot Company. I'm Dave McGirt with Daniel Jackson. Following up on uh, a lot of great stuff we're bringing to the lake this year, uh, specifically from the Sunstream family of products. One, the Swift Shield, uh, something that's been around for a while, but we're actually taking over as one of the dealers as well as the primary service uh, center for all of Lake Martin uh, for that product. And another product that's actually super exciting, which is the Helix P hydraulic lift uh, that we're bringing to Lake Martin. So with that said, what are the big advantages over this hydraulic lift versus the traditional electric lifts that we've been doing for years and years and years? Yeah, a couple of things. Uh, operational features is uh, this lift can be installed flush with the top of the dock. So you, you no longer have to have pilings that are gonna be three or four feet above the dock, the way that this hydraulic system and the motor uh, and the, the, the gear and the, the whole system works, it can be mounted lower, uh, closer to the water. Um, the other thing is it's, it's lightning fast. So traditional lifts would operate maybe 46 inches a minute, uh, kind of that's top. Then you can get a upgraded lift with maybe 80 inches a minute. Uh, these lifts can run 15 to 20 seconds and you have your boat raised from in the water all the way in storage position in about 20 seconds wow so big difference and from a safety perspective you know talk to me about that that seems to be right off the bat one of the big things because you know obviously you're coming into the dock you're trying to hold position while the lift's coming up um uh, so if that thing's that much faster obviously you're on the lift and stable that much quicker mm -hmm. um and i think it alleviates probably some of the weight concerns that we've we've always had to caution customers like hey don't load everybody in the boat before you go into the water don't keep everybody in the boat when you go up, up in the lift where it's mm -hmm. hydraulics kind of take that off the table we're not worried about the weight so much so everybody can kind of safely get in the boat while it's stable get mm -hmm. in the water pull out mm -hmm. and get the lift back up and vice versa um electricity so obviously a big topic about electricity in the water what electricity is in the water for a hydraulic lift? So you have no power lines or anything that are in the water with a hydraulic. So you just have the hydraulic hoses. So all your power packs can either be mounted on the dock. Or in some cases, you can mount them and run them all the way up on land. So you don't even have to have anything over, over the water. Uh, some other safety features is, is going back to you know the cable lift. This is a, still cable, but it, it raises up and it locks in place. So you have a very stable platform for your boat. There's no more swaying uh, with traditional kind of cable lifts. You can get a little bit of swaying with some high winds. Uh, so that's a, a nice safety feature as well as, yeah, no, no electrical in the water. And speaking of electrical, these units, one of the things I liked about the power pack or so the hydraulic pump that actually operates this lift is it has a battery backup. Mm -hmm. So if power's out for whatever reason, mm -hmm it still has the ability to get the lift up or down. Exactly. Yeah, all these are gonna be run, you know, battery power, and you can uh, you can have solar panels on it that will trickle charge and keep the, the, ba uh, the batteries uh, uh, fully charged, or you can, you can run it uh, to a plug as well. So those are the benefits. I guess one of the downsides of this system is, and, and not that all of our customers only have one thing on their dock, you know, so you have this power pack, but it's able to power multiple lifts. So we could have two boat lifts, two uh, PWC lifts, and it can power all of those things. So that cost is kind of one-time cost for the power pack. Mm -hmm. But as you add, if you had four four lifts, you kind of kind of maximize the economic value of the system exactly. versus just a single mm -hmm. single lift is you know it's going to be more expensive than a traditional lift, right? Mm -hmm. Um, you're going to get the benefits, but obviously that's kind of, you know, let's be realistic. It's going to be more expensive for a single boat, but if you're looking holistically at a, a full dock install. Mm -hmm. And the PWC lifts are just as fast, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you can run, uh, with their standard power pack, you can run up to 10 lifts on it. So, yeah, the, the more lifts you buy, the, the more savings you have. Uh, but, yeah, it, the upfront calls for one lift, one power unit uh, is going to be, higher than your traditional four post lift uh, the more lifts you add that cost comes down because obviously you're, you're saving not having to buy multiple uh you know power units for each lift switching over to swift shield um so same same concept so hydraulically driven so one of the reasons it's a pretty big investment by itself is hey there's this hydraulic pack that's powering mm -hmm. that lift now if i'm doing the helix mm -hmm. and i want swift shields Mm -hmm. Those are just more things plugged into the same system. Correct. So I'm actually going to get the savings of not having to buy a separate power pack. So mm -hmm. when you combine the, the technology, I think that goes a long way. Uh, but as a standalone, so it's, it's one of the struggles we all have, right? So, you know, getting the cover off your boat, getting the cover back on your boat. Obviously, the Swift Shield is kind of the best solution we know of today um, to, to easily cover and uncover your boat. Um, 
you know, so that's obviously kind of a feature. Uh, you know, what are some of the other features and benefits that uh, folks are seeing from that? And then we'll also talk about things that they need to be, you know, wary of and understand the limitations of. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely uh, convenience for, you know, hitting a button and covering your boat. Uh, boats are, you know, more expensive now than they've ever been. So pretty big investment for people. Uh, the the uh, the other thing would be is there's a lot of uh, you know lakes whole entire lakes and for us here there's HOAs that do not allow roofs uh, so it's the the best option to get your boat covered uh, easily and quickly and uh, most conveniently without you know having to get out there and crawl up under the the middle console and snap that and crawl back out and you know and still have it wrong and have to go and do it again. <laughs> right. Um, obviously, the downside is your, you know, the system. It, it works really well. Just it obviously comes right over, mm -hmm. um, covers the boat, tidies it up. In right. transition, it's a big sale. Yeah, for sure. Right. So you know, just the customer's got to be smart about if it's a super windy day. Mm -hmm. uh, that there, there's some concern there. Um, you know, unfortunately, that's why we've had to take on the service aspect of this. Is if you know if you open that thing up on the at the wrong time and, and it, it can bend itself and, and sure. or if it's not installed correctly but you know we're obviously able to, to fix those things and service those things if, if the, that should happen but it's just a realistic understanding right there's a lot of benefits but you know there's there is that cautionary tale of you do need to pay attention to when you're operating this thing if it's mm -hmm. a super windy day there's you know take your time yep for sure yeah you got you got to watch that there's gonna be times you just can't use the the cover uh, system but um, it, everything with this is, is custom. So whatever boat model you have, if they don't have that in the database, we use a 3D scanner. We'll scan, you know, your exact boat, and then they custom make the fabric and the cover uh, for your boat. Now, with that being said, you can use it for different boats in the future without having to change out the entire system. The mechanism would be the same, and we could order a new fabric. Uh, for that boat, uh, and that's important because you want it to fit as tight as possible. You don't want it sitting out there, turning into a wind sail when you're not there. So, right, awesome. Well, both these systems are things that we offer uh, today and can get installed. If you need information, click down in the comments below or the information below. There'll be a link uh, to where you can find out a little bit more information. Obviously, happy to uh, give you guys some some pricing and things like that. What it would be for your dock, and and hopefully uh, maybe a new project in the future. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you guys next time.